Hi guys, this is Sadek from Rodman.com. In this video, I'll show you the Android Data Backup app which can be used to backup any app with data. Likewise, you could also backup the files, the config settings as well. All of them can be backup and restored in just a few clicks. I'll show you how. So let's get started. It's an open source app and you could see it's quite a famous app already on GitHub. If you go to the official page, Android Data Backup page and have a look at the stars, it has got quite a lot of stars already. So it's quite an impressive and famous app already. So let me now show you how to use this app to its full potential. So first and foremost, you have to obtain root, which is quite obvious. For rooting, you may use the Magisk APAC or KSU. For now, I'm using the Magisk app. After that, get the Android Data Backup app from GitHub. This is over here. Go to the Release tab and from the Release, you may get the APK file. Then install the app onto your phone. Use the FOSS version, which is the free version, free and open source software, FOSS. So I have the APK file onto my phone. Install it. Let's now try out the app. Open the app. First off, tap on root permission, you'll get a prompt. Tap on grant. In case of KSU and APAC, you'll have to manually give it the root access. So for example, if I have a phone which is obtained root via the, let's say KSU, then I'll show you what I mean by that. Just give me a second. So for the sake of reference, I have this app, this phone, which has obtained root by the KSU. In that case, you'll just have to open the KSU app, then go to super user. And from there, enable the toggle next to the Android data backup app because you will not get any issue request in case of APAC or KSU. In case of Magisk, we have got the request and we have tap on allow. Finally, tap on notification permission, which is quite optional. Tap on allow and that is it, continue. If you want a backup directory, let's choose a directory of our choice. Internal storage is fine, let's go with that only. And we have the storage zero data backup, which is fine, click on finish. Load system apps, let's show that as well. Finish. And first off, let's take a backup. Okay, so I have a third party game which came pre installed to my phone. Currently, I'm just playing it for once or twice. Let me just show you. And my high score is 485. Let's say 488. Let me try it once again. And it's now done. So for now, my high score is 501. Let's now try to remove the app from my phone. And then I'll take a backup, a restore as well. Let's see where we are then. So it's 501 as of now. And now let's take a backup of this app. So backup apps go there. You may. Take a backup of any system app or a third party app. Since it's a third party app, let's try out block puzzle game. Block puzzle, which is this one. Choose the required app of a choice. Tap on continue. This is backup list. Backup config is required for me. Tap on continue. Continue. And that is complete. You may also take the backup and play, place the backup in the cloud if required. That's recommended. So simply place the backup of the cloud as well. Add account and Take the backup there or if you want you may manually do so as well so in our case is the internal storage and i had to have a look at the folder as well there was a folder data backup so you could see the apps is over here the config is there so please upload the entire folder on your try any drive of your choice on the clouds or you may also do so from here as well choice is all yours anyways once you've got the backup of the game let's not try to remove it from here uninstall the app and let's see if it takes back to the same set or not. That will be its main task now. So now go to restore. One app is backup. Let's go there. Block puzzle game. Continue. It's all fine. Continue. Continue. And that is it. It will take a few seconds to backup and restore all the apps. So when that is done, tap on finish. Let's now try it out the game and see what is the result now. Just give me a few seconds. Play. And let's close this. Okay. And you could now see it's currently in the same state as before. The store score is also 501 and all the same blocks are there as placed before. So it works quite well and good. Apart from that, you can also take a backup of any system app, third party app or any files if you want. The choice is all yours. Simply go to backup files and take the backup of the required folder of files and get the job done. And you will see the backup time over here. Last backup, backup files, cloud. Restore, take a history of all the apps backup over here. In the settings menu, it has something or not. Settings is over here. You may change the backup settings. So we have the compression level, which is currently at one, which means faster compression rate. That's fine for me. Check the keys to backup itself. Backup config is required. Follow same links. Let's leave that. Th Monitor setting theming engine. You may enable dark theme as, as well. Confirm and it's now dark. Add some apps to the blacklist or the entire directory as well to the blacklist, auto screen off, so while it's being backup, 
you may keep the display off when the backup is complete the display will turn back on configs for the black layer clouds you may all carry out from here take export the config place it somewhere else and then you may once again import it the next time you install the app on a new phone you may simply import that config from there and that is just about it so guys if you have any query let me know in the comment section and thank you for watching the video